Hey, good evening, card chasers. How's everybody doing tonight? Um, just wanted to go over a couple cards that I've just recently picked up. Um, some of these were in a video I did earlier with some of my favorite cards in my collection. Um, I believe they, I don't know if they all were, but and then I just um, got a card in today that I'm really excited to have. So I just wanted to go over these and I'll show you guys the card I just picked up today. Um, it's all about the chase, right? And lately, I've just been... I've been buying a lot of vintage cards lately. Um, it's just so hard to, you know, get packs, get blaster boxes or anything, retail. And just the prices are just going through the roof. So I've just been really focusing my money on, on vintage. Um, so I don't know, I've got about four or five cards here, some recent pickups. have another one on its way. I believe it'll be here next week. Really excited to have. Um... And I'll show you guys that when I get it, but let me just start off here. This is a 1973 Topps Nolan Ryan. Beautiful card. Love to have his rookie card. I don't have it, but maybe someday I'll be fortunate enough. I know this is this has been in another video, but this is a recent pickup for me. The 1968 Topps game Pete Rose um, in a PSA four. I don't know. I really like these. I mean, you and you can get you can get the, like the mantle in a you know, PSA whatever. Not a really high grade, but you know, sixty bucks. Hank Aaron, Willie Mays. They're just really cool cards. The game that came out in nineteen sixty eight. Nineteen sixty one tops. Whitey Ford. Really fortunate to have this. It's a really nice card. It's a PSA five. I mean, and I didn't, you know, the, the price on it was right. I think I only paid $40 for it. I mean, it's really clean looking. Corners are nice and sharp. Back's nice. Centering's not horrible. I mean, you know, it's not perfect by any means, but it's a really nice clean card. 1967 Topps Willie Mays. <coughs> One of my favorite cards I have. Pick that up or something. Um, and then this, the 2013 Tops Mike Trout Rookie Cup. I'm gonna be doing a video here pretty soon of all <coughs> my, my 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 Trout collection. I don't know. I have I have a 36 card order at SGC right now um, that has several Trout cards in it. I, I may wait until that comes back. Um, I don't know. I, I have quite a few, you know, if I, I told you guys this in the in the video I did, talking kind of about how I want to chase some of these iconic cards. Um, I had the 2011 Tops update, Trout Rookie, and I sold it in March. I sold it raw. Oh, man, and do I regret that. But, you know, I, I don't know. I guess the, the upside to that is it gave me the money I needed to go out and get a lot of other cards that I really want. So now, you know, it's all about the chase. It's back on. This is a PSA 9. Um, I buy a lot of PSA 9s. I buy the card, not the grade. And I don't buy the holder. Um, I've been collecting for a long time. And I just really think that's something that has really hurt the hobby. But then it's also helped the hobby. I mean, grading has its place. There's a lot to be said about grading, especially with the amount of fakes that are out there today. You know, it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, this this card right here in a PSA slab versus in a SGC slab or in a BGS slab, I, I don't know. It's just, it seems to me like we've kind of gotten away from the hobby. And we're just buying slabs. I buy a lot of nines. Well, and maybe one day is it from an investor standpoint, that'll bite me. But, um, next card up, 1970, Tops Reggie Jackson. I've been on, I've, I've just been on a Reggie Jackson kick, you'll see here in a second, but um, I don't have his rookie card, the 69 Tops. Second year card, um, and I am actively chasing, I mean, I could, I could buy it, they're all on eBay, it's not like they're hard to find, it's just, you know, trying to find one. That looks like it's in really good condition. The price is right. Um, you know, this is just a really clean 70 top. So, 
That's why I bought that. I'm not so worried about what that says. I really want to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm after the card. I appeal the card more than I am that green. All right, then this is what came in the mail today. Uh, 71 Tops, Reggie Jackson. PSA 4. And if you look, I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't have this in that protective sleeve. But this is a 3. I mean, it is crisp. This is a 4. I couldn't really see it when I ordered it, but if you look right here along that edge, I mean, that, that black is really, really faded. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. Corners are a lot softer than on the 70, and this has a higher grade. I mean, no, whatever. I wanted the card. Got a good deal on it. Um, I love cards being encapsulated. You know, you get cards like this, it, it preserves them, it saves them. I love that. <clears throat> I almost just wish that, you know, you could send them in and just have them authenticated. And then we kind of go back to how it was prior to grading. If we want to do a deal, we do a deal. Um, you set your price. I, I make an offer. If I don't like the price you set, I'm going to kind of work it like that. And But I know I'm getting an authentic card. Um, the... That number being right there, you know, I don't care what anybody says, it incentivizes people to control the population of a card. And to kind of set the, you know, we, I mean, prices can be set. We just see the prices of a PSA 10 on, on, on some of these, especially modern cards. You know, you got kids that haven't even played a game at Major League Baseball yet, and their cards are going for thousands of dollars. But I'm, I'm buying... A 71 Top Surge Jackson for $35. I mean, it's crazy. I can get his rookie card right now. I can buy it. You know, it's, it's in a low grade, but I can get it for 100 bucks. And people are buying a Jason Dominguez, and, and he may turn out to be one of the greatest players of all time, generational talent. They're paying thousands of dollars for these cards. And that's why I believe right now the money is in the vintage. That market's kind of being overlooked um, as... You know, it seems like constantly there's something new dropping for the for, for the modern market. Um, you, you just have so much to stimulate your your interest in the in the modern market. It's it's easy for for these to be overlooked. So that's good for someone like me, who those are the cards that I'm going after right now. I mean, I still go after my modern. You can see right here in the background. Um, you know, all these Tatis. I mean, he this that that kid right there is. Probably the next big thing in baseball, in my opinion. Position player, hits for power. The charisma, this, his ability to play the game at this level and, and, and engage fans. You know, this this kid this kid's going to be the next real deal. So I'm not buying them, but I'm putting a lot of my time and effort into vintage cards. But I'd love for you guys to put down in the comments below, you know, kind of what cards are you chasing? What are you looking for? I'm always looking to make deals. Love to hear what you guys have to say. But if you guys would please subscribe, like the subscribe and like the video. Um, I'm gonna do a 20. I don't have the card out right now, but I'm gonna do a a, a 20 subscriber giveaway. Um, and that's gonna be either it's gonna be a, a rookie debut King Griffey Jr. PSA graded, or it's going to be a a oh my god, I can't believe it. If, I can't remember. I believe it's a heritage. One Soto, the cloth sticker, but it's it's also graded. Um, one of those two will be the giveaway. And, and I'll, I'll, on the next video, I'll put some more information about that. But please like and subscribe. Um, and I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. What cards are you chasing? What are you looking for? Um, what's, your, what's your opinion on, on the grades and the grading companies? All right, guys. Y'all have a good night. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.